What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do some pepper reviews. If you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, uh, comment anything you'd like to say, and uh, yeah, hit post notifications for all upcoming videos. Thanks. Right, so today we got the Chocolate Bell. It's pretty big. Um, it did take a while for this plant to produce, but it is like this awesome, like, chocolatey, like, brownish, with like a super light undertone of like red color. So it's really nice. Super beautiful, really smooth skin. Feels pretty heavy too, to be honest. So let's get a cross section and then do a taste test. Just gonna cut the top off real quick. It doesn't smell real hot, uh, just pretty floral, real light, nothing crazy. Didn't see that right there. Now let's cut her in half. Nice, so, half cut right there. That is crazy looking, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, that is, that is weird. Uh, on the inside of the part without the seeds, super thick wall so you can see that. Really juicy looking pepper. Like when I'm just running the knife down like the side of it, I mean I can just see the liquid running down. So I'm pretty excited to taste this for sure. Also, as far as seeds go, it looks like it produces, I'll cut that out real quick, it produces quite a few seeds. Uh, also, some of these of course fell out, but you can see there is a lot of seeds on this. So, definitely good for reproducing, get multiple plants off of one. Alright, so, let's give it a taste test, see what we're working with. Alright. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Okay, so, right off the bat, this is one of the best tasting bells that I have, period. 100%. I've never had one of these, and it is absolutely zero heat, 100% zero heat. I mean, th this is doesn't have any whatsoever. It is probably, I would say, an 8 out of 10 on the sweetness scale. Super, super sweet. Um, like I said, the smell of it is floral, doesn't burn or anything. It's not real hot smelling. Um... It does not burn my throat or my mouth whatsoever. Absolutely zero. Um, the practicality for this, I would use this in stir fries. And I would use this in, I would say, Philly cheesesteaks. You want a little bit of sweet in that, especially in stir fries. I would say this is 100% something I would eat in a stir fry. Now, however, I would eat these completely raw in a salad, on a burger, on really anything, uh, I would absolutely eat this raw, no issue whatsoever. I almost would say I prefer this raw. I've never had it cooked, but as sweet as this is, natural and as crunchy and juicy as it is, I see no need in cooking it, to be honest. Um, on a 1 to 5, I'm giving this a 5. This is probably one of my favorite peppers I have probably ever eaten in my entire life. Uh, and it is super juicy. Like, just, it is just exploding when you're eating it. And as far as growing goes, it's only produced once this season. I'm not going to lie to you and say that I've maintenanced it, you know, a whole lot. But it's only produced two. This one and another one. The other one's still ripening. If I really tried, I probably could have gotten more off of it. But honestly, I feel like it's probably going to produce maybe four to five if you actually really grow them. But if you, you know, if you get five or ten plants, you have plenty. You know, but with the flavor of this, let's go with one more. With the flavor of this, I would grow it 100%. I would absolutely grow this. Chocolate Bell, delicious. Absolutely delicious. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. 